Greetings vendors, Mike here with 720 Vending. Today you're gonna to join me on an adventure of replacing the board in one of my machines. It's been acting up, so I ordered a new board. And I hope you enjoy it. Have a great day, enjoy the show. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Here we are at my uh, retirement complex of Dixie Narco 368. I uh, converted to multi-price from single price. It's been giving me issues the last few weeks where it'll occasionally go out of service and uh, I'd have to come down and reset the machine. So I ordered a replacement Series 2 board for it. And I had a uh, connection on the for all the VIN, VIN switches and the sold out switches that was uh, had a few nicks in it, so I repaired that as well. But I'm not sure if that's if that was the problem or if it was the board, so I'm still gonna swap the board because it did give me issues and I lost another week's worth of sales. As of the voiceover right now, the machine's back up in service and has not been having any problems. What you gotta do is make sure the machine is powered off and you're going to remove the cover from the housing and then the board slides out and then this board is an older style board but it has the connector that goes into the bottom for power instead of on the board itself making sure it gets uh, locked in there And then I'm going to slide the new board into the into the unit. It's going to fight a little bit, but what doesn't? Now that it's in there, I'll put the set screw back in there to hold it in place. And then there's the board installed he uses all the same connectors the other board did so it's a direct swap put the cover back on it and put the two screws back in for the cover normally there is a couple of screws that hold it to the housing of the machine but there is a dent in the top of this machine that actually provides a very good tension to hold it in place so I don't worry about it too much Apologize if it's shaky or the camera is weird because I'm doing this all one-handed. <clears throat> the board's going to go back in there. And then I'm going to start reconnecting all the cables. Up first, there's the motor connections. Then the display. And bill validator because it is still a 110 pulse validator the power connector gets connected but not connecting the power just yet MDB is next then I have the connector I had to repair it doesn't have the standard connector it used to it has a couple of the smaller ones that are pieced together so it's a little bit tricky but since it's my machine, I'm the one servicing it, I can deal with it later. Make sure they're all in there nice and tight. This one's the selection switch panel. And then I'll replug back in the display board. and then connect it up for the first time. Uh, when you first, if the memory has been cleared on the, on the board, it will say 99.95 for all the prices. I was waiting for the telemeter to boot up, but it wasn't doing it at that point. Reconnected the DEX cable. And it's not going into service mode because I have not closed the door at least once. 
Once I press the door switch once, it'll then let me go into the service mode. And then I start resetting the prices back to a dollar a can for all of these machines. For this machine, it's a dollar per can for soda. And at that point, you go to set, go to the set price menu and press and hold each button until it gets to one dollar or whatever your desired price is. Now they have the space sales back on there and the card reader is back on and running. We are all done here. Everything is back up and running. It takes cash, it takes coins, and it takes credit cards. Did savings on, did tests on all of them as well. Right here, I'm gonna go through the motor test menu to make sure the motors are working properly. Cans in there working. Drop a second one. If you like the vending re repair related content, like and subscribe. Don't forget to share. Have a great day, everyone.